Tumor anesthesia oxygen cascade. Here are two key definitions. The oxygen cascade describes a sequential reduction in partial pressure of oxygen from the atmosphere to the mitochondria to enable oxidative phosphorylation to produce ATP. The Pasteur point is the partial pressure of oxygen at which oxidative phosphorylation stops and anaerobic metabolism starts. The diagram illustrates the oxygen cascade. Y-axis is PO2 in kilopascals, X-axis is distance. We'll start at the top left corner. Atmospheric pressure at sea level is 101 kilopascals and oxygen is present in air at 21%, so the inspired PO2 is 21 kilopascals. The first step is due to humidification in the upper area. The SVP of water at 37 degrees is 6.3 kilopascals, leading to a reduction in PO2 from 21 to 19. The second and third steps is due to the mixing of oxygen with dead space gas within the airway and mixing with alveolar gas, leading to a reduction to 15 and 13.5 kilopascals, respectively. Alveolar gas is a balance between the supply of gas from the airways and the uptake of gas to the surrounding vasculature. The fourth step is a gradient between the alveolus and the arterial blood supply, known as the AA gradient. This is usually less than 2 kilopascals and is due to VQ mismatch and physiological shunt, leading to a reduction in PO2 to 13.3 kilopascals. So it goes from 13.5 to 13.3. The fifth step to capillary blood is due to the mixing of arterial and venous blood to 7 kilopascals. And finally, oxygen diffuses from the capillaries to the mitochondria, leading to a mitochondrial pressure of 1.5 kilopascals. The red arrows highlight the alveolar gas equation formation. Starting from air, multiply the FiO2 with the atmospheric pressure to produce 21 kilopascals. You then subtract the SVP of water, which is 6.3 kilopascals. And then finally subtract the arterial CO2, PaCO2, and divide by the respiratory quotient. An increase in any of these steps may result in mitochondrial hypoxia. In this example, there's an increase in the AA gradient due to, for example, dead space ventilation, shunt hyperventilation. But this leads to the partial pressure of oxygen within the mitochondria being below the Pasteur point, and therefore the mitochondria is unable to perform oxidative phosphorylation. Please like and subscribe.